Hi everyone. So today's another day where I feel better and better. So it's great. And if you look at what I'm doing right now, look, look, I'm walking. Yeah, I haven't been walking by myself or without a lot of pain for a long time. And uh, I'm still at Guy's place here in Florida and uh, I'm walking around the, the yard and it's great. I'm getting some sun, some vitamin D. So that's it for today. Nothing much. I just wanted to say hi and to tell you that uh, I was doing pretty good. Uh, I had two, uh, two questions that come back pretty often those days. What do I eat now? And what is exactly this uh, nano knife surgery? So I, I will make some videos about it uh, pretty soon. But in the meantime, you just go on Google and, and you search nano knife and they'll tell you everything. All right, wherever you are, whoever you are, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Hi everyone. So today I made a uh, morning video that most of you have seen where I was walking uh, in the yard and feeling great. Uh, and many people thought, uh, yeah, it's over. Okay, Fred is completely healed. He's, he's running around all day long. And uh, I wanted to clarify a little bit that it's not the case. Okay. Uh, I have the energy to walk and several times a day I go outside, I walk, I take the sun, but uh, I'm still taking uh, morphine pills once every four hours. And without it, I would be in so much pain. I wouldn't be able to do anything. So I'm not without meds yet. Uh, I have a horrible, horrible uh, catheter which is a tube that goes inside my penis all the way to my uh, bladder to help me pee. I probably don't need it anymore, but uh, they put it during the operation so my urine wouldn't be stuck and go back up into my kidneys and poison my, uh, my blood. So this is horrible. It's so painful. All the guys out there, you can probably relay. Imagine having a tube a little bit smaller than my pinky going through your penis all the way to your bladder. It's absolutely horrible. That's why I need the morphine. Uh, they're going to take it off Monday, so I can't wait to be freed of this, this stuff. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. So I'm not living my life yet, but it's coming. Okay. Uh, the nano knife surgery was not meant to completely destroy the cancer, even though it could, we don't know yet, but, uh, in my vision of things, I still have some work to do to be to be 100% cancer free. I'm close to very close. Uh, most of the tumor was uh, destroyed during the operation, and it, it it's going to keep dying for the next four to six weeks. So in four to, to six weeks, I should be completely cancer free. But uh, it's not only because of the surgery. I do what we've done with Guy, what we've been doing for so many years. I use the five essentials. If you don't know what that is, check our books or our videos. Uh, I do intermittent fasting. I have lost too much weight to do long period fasting yet, but uh, intermittent fasting works well. Uh, I eat pretty much the same thing that I ate four years ago to, to save myself, but with a little bit more flexibility. I eat high quality meat, mostly beef because it's richer in, in nutrition than chicken or pork with a little bit of organs. Uh, I eat a little bit more fish, most, mostly uh, uh, salmon, uh, wild salmon. Uh, what else? Bone broth, uh, goat milk, kefir, a little bit of fruits, mostly lemon and blueberries, nothing uh, rich in sugar. Uh, what else? That's about it. Uh, the difference is for my meat, it's a little bit more uh, fun, so to speak, because my wife can 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 quiz in, cook it a little bit better. So I have a little bit of tomato sauce with my beef or a little bit of cream sauce, uh, a little bit of curry that my wife does. So it's, uh, it's a little bit more fun than three years ago. It's a little bit more flexible. Uh, that's about it. So... My guess is between what I do, my nutrition, 
my fruit supplements, which we call the five essentials, uh, cold exposure, uh, hot exposure, what else? Uh, oxygen therapy and ozone therapy, which seems to be very efficient against cancer, which I didn't do last time. Uh, high doses of vitamin C uh, injection, IV. That seems also to be uh, very efficient, and it's something that I do now that I didn't do three years ago. And with all this, I should be 100% cancer-free within a, a few weeks, a month. So I will let you guys know. Everybody have a great day, wherever you are, whoever you are, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.